that we think are little blessings. Somebody else might think they big blessings. Yeah. Thank him for every blessing. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. He continues to bless us even when we don't deserve it. Amen. Can I, can I, can I get a witness? Does he not bless you when you don't deserve it? Oh, I don't deserve it. Oh, I don't deserve it. Oh, but I love the Lord and I thank him this morning. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. He's a true daddy. He's a true parent. Yeah. Unconditional love. Oh, yes. Hallelujah.
God everything. Yes, I do. Anybody in here owe him anything? Anybody in here owe him anything? Oh, I owe him everything. I thank the Lord for blessing me. One more time. Just one more time. Glad to be in the number. Just one more time. Amen. Glad to be in the number. One more time. Amen. Things that should have taken us out didn't take us out. Not because of us, but because of him. So when I come in, I know I didn't come under my own strength. I didn't come under my own power. I came in because of his grace and his mercy. Anybody that's recipients of his grace and mercy in here today? His grace and his mercy. And the name of Jesus shall be exalted in all the land. In all the land. I don't want to have to stand before him. Have him ask me the question. Say, did you exalt my name? So I gave you that voice. But did you use it to exalt my name? Or was it your name you were concerned about? Some of us, we got good looks, you know. Some of us, you know, looking all good. Did you use it to exalt his name? Go ahead. Or was it all about you and Revlon? Mm -hmm. And what's his name? Max Factor and who else? <laughs> Some of them other people. Yeah. Cover of Girl and Maybelline. And Maybelline. I thought that was Chuck Berry. <laughs> Maybe they want not catch to be true. <laughs> Don't start back doing the things you used to do. Amen. Praise God. I thank the Lord for blessing me to be here. I thank God. And I know that uh, sometimes I come in with the same, same things to say. But it's on my heart. I, I, I know why I'm here. Amen. God spared my life. Yes. Yeah. Yes, man. Yeah. Right, man. I'm glad about it. Yeah, I'm glad about it. Some of you need to visit the hospitals. Amen. Amen. Just go visit. Amen. Go visit the nursing home. Amen. You will find out what a great, great gift it is. Yes. Be able to wake up and then get up. A whole lot of people waking up, but they can't get up. Amen. Amen. Some of us, we got soap in the bathroom, but you can't walk to the bathroom again. You have to wait on somebody to wash your face. Get your face washed when they decide to come in. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 And I know when you're young, you think, you know, I'm going to be like this always. Mm -hmm. No. No. No, no. And I need to say this, too. Say, we've got a lot of people strung out on drugs. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yeah. And don't you know that Church people, God's people, their children get strung out on drugs. Right. Amen. Amen. Did you hear what I said? Yes. 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 Preachers' kids, yes. deacons' kids, yes. deaconess, and ushers, yes. their kids get strung out. Yes. Oh, yeah. It ain't, everything ain't contained in a pill or a little uh, syringe. It's a whole lot of things to get drugged on. We can talk about that on the way home from church. Yeah, you can get drugged. That's right. But I thank God for my parents. They drug me from church to church. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. They drug. Anybody else been drugged from church to church? Yes, they drug me. Yes, 
bumped my head up against the church door all the time. And I still took a left turn. Lord, I'm But I thank God they kept on praying. Did they keep praying for you? Did they keep praying for you? Those prayers are still there. Amen. Amen. I'm going to ask that you would open your Bible with me. We're going to just take a look at a few things here this morning. Mount Zion Baptist Church is happy Amen. to have you with us. Glad that you're here Amen. to worship with us. And I need to say something else too. Let's keep this uh, program on the app. Amen. Because we cover parts of three states. Southern West Virginia and we cover just right along the state line. We cover parts of three states. And a lot of people, they say, why did you have it at 11 o'clock? We had it at 11 o'clock because there are a lot of people that can't get to church at 11 o'clock. Then there are a lot of people that are sitting on the side of the bed trying to put their other stocking on or other shoe on. And the devil talking in one ear talking about, you don't need to go this morning. Right. Amen. Amen. And it's happening at 11 o'clock. Yeah. Amen. Let's open up our Bible. Luke 9. too long this morning. Luke 9th chapter. We're going to begin at the beginning. Verse 1 and 2. We're going to go on down focus on those two that we're going to read on through. Luke 9th chapter, and it reads like this. Then he called his twelve disciples together and gave them power and authority over all devils and to cure diseases. And he sent them to preach the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. Amen. And he said unto them, Take nothing for your journey, neither staves, nor script, nor bread, neither money, neither have two coats apiece. And whatsoever house you enter into, there abide, and thence depart. And whosoever will not receive you when you go out of that city, Shake off the very dust from your feet for a testimony against them. And they departed and went through the towns preaching the gospel and healing everywhere. Let the church say amen. 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 You may be seated. Let us keep our Bibles open. We need to just take a look. We say that we're Christians. We need to take a look at who we really are. Right, right. We are the body of Christ. Amen. And we've been given authority. Amen. Amen. He gave us authority. He gave us authority. And it says that he called them together and these were disciples. Gave them power and authority over all devils. That means that no devil don't give him or her an opportunity to dominate you. No devil, whether it's age, devils are ageless, 
Because it's a spirit. Amen. They're sexless because it's a spirit. Right. Right. Amen. Amen. And to cure diseases. And he sent them to preach the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. One of the things we have to look at around us is when the power fails in the church. When the power fails. When the power fails. You need to look at the person beside you and ask them the question, is your power high? Turn on the other side and ask the other person. Is your power high? When the power fails, no energy can be created. No work can be done when the power fails. Don't you know one of the scariest things that can happen is that you can go into a building and get in the elevator. Push the button and have the elevator start to go up and then all of a sudden in between floors the elevator stops. You're talking about people getting scared. Especially when you're up about the you know fourth floor Seventh floor, eighth floor, and you're thinking about, oh God, what's going to happen to me now? <laughs> well, scary things happen when the power goes out. Yeah. Yeah. Scary things happen. Yeah. That's right. Now, so another thing that happens when we look around at us, we look at all of the churches, and we count churches, and we look at different labels yeah. Yeah. of churches, and then we. We want to say, well, I want to go to this church or that church or whatever. But the main thing is this. Is God in the house? Amen. And do they have a power of faith? <laughs> do they have a power of faith? I don't want to be with a group of folks going somewhere. And there's no power. Because if something happens to me, I need somebody to pray for me. Amen. Amen. I want to urge all you men that, you know, you we go out to these uh, uh, restaurants and we sometimes, you know, go out on a date or something like that. You, and uh, she's looking all cute and looking all good and you've been, you've given your heart to the Lord Jesus Christ and you've got... New power with God. Right. Well, what's going to happen to you? If you choke, there you are gasping for her. And she just fluffing her hair. <laughs> she don't know what to do. She don't have a clue. You're in a bad situation. And the same thing goes to the ladies. He's showing up, you know, he got a nice ride, or at least he rented one for the weekend. <laughs> you know, he flashing his watch and his ring. And, you know, he's going to all tell you to give you the menu, tell you order what you want. <laughs> you know, and then you sit there and you, maybe something gets hung in his throat, and you, He's looking around, like, what am I going to do now? <laughs> you don't want to be confined in a tight spot with somebody that don't know how to pray. Amen. Oh, I wish I had some help with this. I wish I had some help. <laughs> One of the things that we have to learn to to do, we, we look at all of the physical stuff. We learn to look at all of the physical things. And don't you know that God is interested also in the spirit of the person? Because that's what's going to live. Your spirit, yes. your soul will live forever. Amen. It's ageless. Right. In Hebrews 11, it says, 
Oh, faithless. He called people faithless. He said, without faith, it's impossible to please God. But he that comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a reward of them that diligently seek him. We seek everything but power with God. We try to go to the job store to get a job. We get a job. Then we try to get a paycheck. Then we get a paycheck. Then we try to get some get a car. Then we get a car. Then we try to get some more clothes. Then we go down, we get some nails, we get some hair, we get some eyelashes. You know, all these things. Who is hungry for God? And power with God. You have to see him. Jesus said, not only are you a faithless generation, he said, but you're also a perverse generation. Perverse means twisted. Yes. Backwards. Out of order. Yes. Perverse means mixed up, messed up. Yes. And I think the street vernacular is screwed up. <laughs> you got the cart before the horse? Go ahead. It's about you and no longer about me. Jesus wants it about him. He wants it about him. And then when you get with somebody, you're gonna go you wanna you wanna go find the preacher. Go ahead. You find the preacher. Will you marry us? Mm -hmm. You wanna get married? You don't know nothing about. It. Go ahead. You don't know nothing. <laughs> you know what they like on the weekend. All right. Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? Somebody know I'm right. <laughs> You no longer look to the hills for help. You no longer give God credit for your position. Right. You no longer look at uh, the Lord for your next year. Jesus. Jesus says, how long shall I be with you and suffer you? How long shall I be with you? And you still don't know who I am. Right. After all this time of coming to church and you don't know who Jesus is. There are three responses to this question. Number one, response is repent. Yeah. That means that you have to go to God and say, God, I am so sorry. I'm sorry for the things I've done, the things I thought about doing. Because it's a whole lot of wild thoughts that run through your mind. Right. And they don't need to look around. Somebody looking at you right now. Go ahead. And your feet will follow your thought path. Right. Yes, they will. Amen. Now, repent. That means being godly suck. Yeah. Yeah. For yeah. offending God. Yeah. He's the one that's done everything. Yeah. He's done everything. And knows all about you. That's right. And loves you in spite of yourself. Yeah. That's who God is. Yes. Yes. Number two. We have to return to him. Yes. Some of us have known him. Right. Some right. of us mm -hmm. have invested our time, our talent, our tithe in the Lord. Yes. Yes. And then something else comes along and then we let go of what we believe. Yes. Yeah. We let it go and then follow the devil's party for a while. Because yes. you know it's always some excitement over at the devil's house. Yes. I wish I had somebody to tell the truth. People sitting up here looking at me like, oh, that's not me, brother. <laughs> Always some excitement. When we read the news.